Uh, in this tutorial, I will give an overview of an RFID reader called RFID Desktop Reader Neo 2. Uh, so this reader comes in a box like this. Um, it consists of this reader with a built-in uh, USB cable where you see here, USB-A. And then you need to buy separately different um, RFID tags like uh, these shown here. So basically um, the package consists of this RFID reader with a built-in USB cable that you can just plug into your computer. And in addition you need to buy some uh, RFID tags. So here you see some RFID tags called MyFair Classic 1K or the ISO 144 3A. Uh, these, these tags comes in many um, shapes and uh, colors. So I have bought these in five different colors in red, yellow, green, blue and black. Typically you also need to uh, download and installed an SDK software for this uh, RFID reader. So you find the SDK here in this uh, URL or just Google the name of the RFID reader and then you will find information about the reader and a link to the SDK software. So you can use this uh, RFID reader in two different operating modes, either so-called HID, Human Interface Device. Uh, this is the mode that I will focus on in this tutorial, but you can also use it in VCP mode or virtual COM port. You need to download the SDK software in order to specify which mode you want to use the device. So let's see how we can um, download and install and use this uh, SDK software. Here you see the web page for this uh, RFID reader. So the URL is um, in my tutorial. I just go into this uh, web page. Here you find information about the reader. And under downloads, you can download the SDK. So I have already downloaded the SDK on my hard drive. So this is the contents of the SDK. Is it consists of different folders and in folder uh, name 7 software for HID mode configuration. I just open it and then you need to install this uh, software. Just click on the setup in order to install the software and then you have installed it. You should get a shortcut to the software here on your desktop. So then just open uh, the software. So now I have plugged in uh, the RFID reader in my USB uh, connection on my PC. And then I go just here to settings dual HID mode. I select this one and here you can set the reader to HID mode. So I just select this one. And then, of course, first I need to connect to the hardware. So then I select COM port, baud rate and address uh, like this. Then I just click connect. Now I'm connected to the device. Then I set this reader to HID mode uh, like this. And then the, just click this button, set uh, reader like this. So now the RFID reader should be in HID mode. Then I can just close this one. So now I can easily uh, test the RFID reader. Uh, for instance, in Microsoft uh, Word. So I just open an empty Microsoft Word document. Then I have these tags in five different colors. I have red, black, yellow, green and blue. And then I just Start with the red one, put it on the reader, and then you see the tag ID appears automatically in my Word document. Now I put on another tag, the black one, and you see uh, 
and the tag ID is different. I put on the yellow one and you see the tag ID is different. I put on uh, the green one, the blue one, red one, black one, yellow one, etc. So you can easily uh, use um, this RFID reader without any programming in HID mode then you can just use a uh, word notepad or whatever I can also use notepad let's just close word and open notepad instead so you can use the reader in any kind of uh, text input fields so now I put the red one the yellow one the green one etc so then I automatically get the unique RFID tag into into my uh, in this case into my notepad so you can easily uh, test and use the RFID reader by just opening word notepad etc and then put on a tag on the reader and then you auto automatically will get the unique tag ID inside a uh, word and notepad etc but typically you want to use a programming language in order to create an application so let's see how we can create some small applications uh, I will start with uh, Visual Studio and then uh, finally I will see uh, and use LabVIEW to create a simple application that are retrieving uh, the tag into LabVIEW but first let's start with Visual Studio so uh, let's see how we can uh, use Visual Studio to read a unique tag from the tag reader in this HID mode. So here you see my basic example. Here I'm, I'm just in a large text box and when I put on a new unique RFID tag on the reader, the tag will be entered here in this text box and presented here the unique ID and also uh, the color of the tag so I have inside my uh, application and in my code just a simple if else if uh, a specific tag ID I just type green red blue uh, black yellow here in this tag color let's go to Visual Studio and see and give a demo of this simple application so now we are inside uh, Visual Studio and here you see my simple desktop application that I'm going to read the unique tag ID from the, the tag that I put on top of the tag uh, the USB uh, RFID reader so it consists of a large text box here I have set it to multi-line true so then I just for each time I put on a new tag here it will be presented here in the text box and then inside my code I have a, an event for that one so this is the text box it's called txt RFID reader and then I have created an event for the text change so every time a new tag is presented here it will go into this piece of my code this event handler for the text box and then it will present the unique tag ID here in this text box and also present the color here so let's just run it and I will go into code in more detail uh, later so I just start it and then you see when I now click on I'll put a tag on my reader I start with the black one and then you see this is the unique tag ID that is copied to this text box and also the tag color is uh, written here uh, for this tag it was the black one I take the green one uh, the yellow one oh, sorry I just start from scratch the yellow one green one red one blue and finally black take the yellow one once more etc so then here you see the um, entire list of 
or the history of all tags that has been put on the reader and here you see the latest tag ID and the color of that specific tag. So basically this is the application, I just close it and as mentioned I have created this uh, event handler for this text box so when a new tag is written here automatically uh, by the reader uh, I just uh, read the length and then put the unique tag ID into a string uh, called tag ID then if the tag ID is this unique ID I just set the color to be green if it's this unique ID I set it to red and the same for the blue, yellow and black and then I just in this text box here I just uh, copy the UE tag ID and here in this text box I just specify the color like this and then I just set it back to have key focus so next time I put a new tag on it will be entered here in this uh, large text box so basically this is how you create a simple C sharp application that are able to read um, unique tag IDs from this uh, RFID reader. I also made the same example using the LabVIEW programming environment. So here you see the same application but in this example I have used a uh, LabVIEW programming environment but the user interface is the same. So you have the list a text box here where all uh, the tags are written uh, automatically from the um, tag reader, the RFID uh, tag reader and then I copy the current tag into this text box and also present the color of the, uh, the different tags in this text box. So let's just uh, run this example as well. So now I have opened my LabVIEW programming environment I just run the application, I click on this arrow I put a tag on top, the yellow, I start with the yellow one, put the green one, the blue, the red, and finally the black one. Or once more, green, etc. So basically this is the same application, but now I have used the LabVIEW programming environment, so let's just go through the uh, application. So I have just created one, two, three text boxes. And here is the code for this application. So first I just in initialize the different text box. I just clear all the information. Um, then I just wait here um, for a new um, tag to be written here uh, automa automatically by the RFID reader and then it's a new tag is written. I just uh, read the latest RFID tag from this uh, list and put it in the current tag like this. So I just made a sub VI where I just take out all the information in this list and just pick out the latest tag which is in the bottom and I put it here in this text box and then I go to a case called RFID and then based on this current tag I either if the unique tag ID is like this I just set the color to be red if the unique tag ID is like this I just set the color to be green blue yellow and finally black like this and that's all and then I just cl can click the stop button in order to stop and exit the application so basically this is how you create a simple application that can read tags from the RFID reader and do some basic logic present the color etc so that's all, so good luck using the RFID uh, desktop reader Neo2 in your application. Thank you and goodbye.